Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of Eve University, and this is my playthrough of Chapter 6 of the Sisters of Eve Level 1 Epic Arc, The Bloodstained Stars. So, the mission to go from Chapter 5 to Chapter 6 cannot be accepted remotely. So, I accepted it, came over here, now I'm here, I'm going to talk to the Epic Arc agent. Now, the target that we just killed uh, was apparently... Uh, student of somebody and we're going to bring her doll back to her family so we're going to click accept close uh, let's drag the doll into the cargo hold let's not leave anything here we're not staying here very long all right a matter of decorum warp to location Zara family hovel. Even among the remnants of this rundown mining colony, the Mazara family's hovel looks particularly impoverished. Control spacebar, because it takes a while for my ship to slow down. And let's let's put this window over here for a change so it's a little closer. And drag in the doll. We're done with the mission. Let's get out of here. Agent home base, warped location. Warp drive. By the way, blue wrecks and cargo containers uh, mean that they have been abandoned by whoever generated them. If it's white, it belongs to you. If it's yellow, it belongs to somebody else, and you have to switch to yellow safeties uh, so that you can go suspect to steal from them. Of course, once you actually get the suspect flag from the actual looting, everybody can shoot at you. Blue means it's been abandoned. You can right-click a wreck and select Abandon All Nearby Wrecks, and they will turn blue, and anybody can take them without going suspect. Let's request the next mission, and he wants us to talk to an agent in Lisu Day. Accept. Close. Undock. As usual, you know how to jump through Stargates. Let's skip ahead. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, I am in station. Let's move off our uh, all of our excess stuff to station here, and let us talk to Dr. Canius. All right, recover an artifact from the dig site using an archaeology module like the one provided. The agent will give you a civilian relic analyzer, but a relic analyzer one is better, and we can use a relic analyzer one. That's why you brought one with you. So let's 
remove the afterburner. We need a mid slot. I'd rather have a micro warp drive. So, micro warp drive and relic analyzer. And let's undock. Encounter dead space, warp to location. And I can also right click this and set destination so that the station icon is highlighted yellow if I don't want to uh, have to go right click agent missions recovery agent home base Lisa Day dock all right Let's start locking things. And... I should probably get EMP and Mjolnir since these are Blood Raiders. And I bumped off an asteroid. I'm going to deal with that cruiser. Four. All right, now that I'm orbiting it. Right, with the cruiser dead, most of the damage that was being dealt against me has slowed down. So yeah, remember when I was talking about my fitting in the prologue? Yeah, I'm taking a risk. Probably should have gone for the cruiser first. But anyway. That's been taken care of. Let's get within... I need to be within 5 kilometers to use the Relic Analyzer, but I need to be within 2.5 kilometers to loot anything. Alright. Armor is patched up. Full stop. And let's use the Relic Analyzer. That was easy. And that's what using a real relic analyzer does for you. Let's get out of the way here. Oh, I have a clear path to the station. I don't have to clear obstacles, there's nothing in my way. Mysterious statuette. This ancient, faintly engraved statuette looks like just the kind of thing Canius was after. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right, complete the mission. All right, 
He wants us to get a strange coded doc. Find the monastery, clear the area of any pirates, retrieve any documents you find. I do not need the relic analyzer. Let's undock. Right click our station, set destination, and let's warp to the mission. Warp drive active. Now if I remember correctly, there's going to be a mix of enemies, so I'm going to use Phase Plasma and Inferno, first of all. Let's try the ones on the right. others. Okay. The cargo container that I need to loot will drop from the last one of these to actually die. So, the last one to die, I think I will leave this closest guy alive. Save location, submit, and let's return to station. Warp drive active. Control spacebar because I'm bumping into obstacles. Double left click off to the side. There we go. Press the next mission, and we need to return to Tanu. Set destination, accept, uh, grab everything. We are not coming back here. Except to salvage. But I'm going to do the salvaging after I stop recording. You, again, I'm going to skip ahead. Docking permission requested. Alright, I have skipped ahead to the part where I have docked in the station in Tanu again. 
let us talk to the Epic Arc Agent. Tafos has challenged you to trial by combat. So let's click accept. Close. Undock. We don't need to leave anything behind here. Uh, call to trial. Warp to location. And we actually probably want EMP and Mjolnir. <clears throat> All right, there's Tafos. Let's sick the drones on him. Start an orbit. Close enough to cut the micro warp drive. And I'm gonna start shooting. And he is dead. Now I'm gonna save this location. Full stop, cut the afterburner complete remotely, and you can request and accept the next mission remotely uh, to return to Arnon. This ends Chapter 6 of the Bloodstained Stars. I'm going to salvage the... I'm going to go dock up, uh, salvage the wrecks that I left behind, and when I start the next episode, the final episode of the series, I will be in Arnon already. In the meantime, thank you for watching.